What's going on, y'all? Welcome. Oops. Welcome to a special edition, another edition of the BTS. I show me your script for Jay. Sorry that I don't got this set up the way it's supposed to, but we better as we fly it. Um, I'm excited by today's episode. Uh, it's a reaction, another reaction. Uh, y'all remember the last time I did a reaction? It was Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Today, we're going to do a reaction to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. First and foremost, rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Uh, I'm pretty sure this November is going to be very bittersweet for a lot of people. I'll be perfectly honest. I think I said this before. I have not watched anything Chadwick Boseman probably a whole entire year after he uh, passed away. Matter of fact, the first time I watched anything Chadwick related was uh, the What If series. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to share the screen. If there's any technical errors, my apologies. We're just going to improvise to the best way possible. This is Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. E little darling, don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. Good friends we are, and good friends we blow. Along that looked like a wedding. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry your teeth, I say. Oh. That being stated, that was the uh, trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Uh, my first and foremost is it's very down. It's very gloomy, and, uh, of course, because it's a real sensitive subject in regards to uh, Chadwick no longer being with us. Now, here's what's the uh, topic of discussion. Should they have recasted T'Challa? Now, I'm forever going to be stuck in the middle in this, and here's why. It's because of Chadwick that there's a Black Panther movie. Like, as far as he's pushed to have this role and for it to be on the big screen, it will be a tarnish to his legacy if you guys didn't continue it. And now what I mean, you guys, I'm talking, I was going to talk about uh, Disney and Marvel Studio. They should have recasted T'Challa. That way, Chadwick Boseman's legacy can continue. And it will continue just for the record. He's a phenomenal actor. No question about it. But in regards to this, his uh, footprint that he put in this project, you should have recast it. Now, here's where I'm stuck in the middle. The actor they will find to replace T'Challa has big shoes to fill, and he will be critiqued at every corner, and that's not fair to that um, new actor. We all know that there is a possibility. Well, excuse me, let me just stick to the comics, because as far as the movie, I don't know what's going to happen. In the comic, I was sure he was Black Panther. Now there's a character named Dr. Voodoo who can bring somebody back to the life, i.e. Killmonger. 
I'm really stuck between this, man. I want them to recast T'Challa, but at the same time, I don't want this actor to be criticized at every single turn because he didn't live up to Chadwick's uh, legacy in regards to the movie. Like I said, that is not fair. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hopefully we can do this one time. I uh, know people might switch to Jay. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.